here we are in, uh, in our campus in Nova SP and we started everything on, on sustainability, let's say, by changing and helping to change the behavior of the, our community. And that's basically the start of, of everything. Container deposit systems are the perfect application of the circular economy, particularly when it comes to plastic bottles. Not only do deposit systems achieve very, very high collection rates, they however also achieve very, very high recycling rates. And due to the purity of the material, you're able to take an old bottle and make a new bottle out of it, what we as Tomra here call clean re recycling. With this project, uh, we first of all and most importantly want to confirm the Portuguese government's decision of implementing a container deposit system by 2022. Container deposit systems are a well-recognized economic instrument to prevent beverage container litter, plastic pollution, particularly marine plastic uh, pollution. Container deposit systems very quickly accelerate collection and recycling rates for targeted beverage containers, as we have seen recently in Lithuania, where within two years the collection rates went up to 92%. One of the biggest developments that we are currently seeing with combating plastic pollution, particularly on a European level, is the Single-Use Plastic Directive, which will also apply, of course, to Portugal. And this is why um, it was very encouraging for us to see how even before the Single-Use Plastic Directive was signed off in Brussels, the Portuguese government already started looking into deposit return systems as a way to achieve a 90% uh, collection target. We are in the process to define the objectives for on sustainability, the KPIs for this campus. First of all, in terms of waste. And the objective is that in 2025, will we'll have zero waste on landfills. As part of this objective of zero waste on landfill, we have this deposit refund system pilot. When it comes to the deposit system here at Nova University, it works very similar to the systems that we see throughout the world. When students buy a beverage container here at the university, they will pay an extra 15 cents on top of the sales price. Once they return the beverage containers to one of the two reverse vending machines located throughout the campus, they will be able to receive their 15 cents deposit back. I believe that Tomra will take advantage of having here a fantastic pilot, a fantastic showcase to demonstrate all the benefits of a deposit system to reach the objectives of collection rate of 90% by 2029.